In today's video, we're going to cover how to prove that a statement is false by providing a counterexample. And all I mean by counterexample is some example that shows that the statement is wrong. To be honest, it's kind of a hard topic to learn because they can ask you almost anything. So we're just going to work through a few examples with the aim of helping you understand the concepts that you can then apply to any different type of question. Let's start with an easy one. Disprove the statement that all prime numbers are odd. So for this question, all we have to do is think of an example where this statement isn't true. So basically, think of a prime number that's even rather than odd. And there's actually only one possible example, which is the number 2. Because all of the other prime numbers are actually odd. Like if you think of them in a list, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on, they're all odd apart from 2. So in your exam, you'd just write something like, this statement is false because 2 is a prime number and it's even not odd. Let's try a slightly trickier one this time. This time, we need to prove by counterexample that the statement below is not correct. And the statement says that the difference between two prime numbers is always even. So basically, we're trying to disprove this statement by providing a counterexample where the difference between two prime numbers isn't even. So in other words, where the difference is odd. One way to do this would be to start picking random prime numbers and seeing if the difference between them is odd or even. For example, we could try things like the prime numbers 3 and 7, which have a difference of 4, 11 and 17, which have a difference of 6, or 5 and 23, which have a difference of 18. Unfortunately though, in all of these cases, and in fact most other cases that you'd probably try, the difference between the two numbers is even not odd, which actually supports the statement rather than disproving it. If we think about why this is, it's because the difference between two odd numbers will always be even. And like we saw in the last example, nearly all prime numbers are odd. However, remember that there is one even prime number, which is 2. And if you had tried to find the difference between 2 and any other prime number, like the difference between 2 and 5, then it would have given you an odd number, in this case 3. So this example of 2 and 5 disproves the statement in the question, because it shows that the difference between two prime numbers isn't always even. You could also have used any other counterexample that worked though, like 2 and 3, which has the odd difference of 1, or 2 and 19, which has the odd difference of 17. As long as your example disproves the statement, then you'll get all of the marks. Let's try one more. Disprove the statement that all square numbers end in 1, 4, 6, or 9. So for this question, we just need to find a square number that doesn't end in one of these numbers. So we could just start with 1 squared, which is 1, and work our way through the square numbers until we find an example that disproves the statement. So 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, and we can stop there, because the last digit of 25 is a 5 rather than a 1, 4, 6, or 9. So the example of 25 disproves the statement. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So hope that made sense, and cheers for watching!